Now, today I'm going to share with you three concepts about leadership that are interrelated and that you need to succeed. The first is persistence, the second is resilience, and the third, well, there's an East Texas expression called quitting sense, knowing when it's time to throw it in. So the first one is persistence. Persistence is that thing that causes you to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, even in the face of adversity. Now, a lot of us look at things around us and go, that's got to be pretty easy, or we see it's easy for somebody else. I've never juggled before, but I'm fairly confident that juggling is easy, and so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, nope, nope, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, very good. Okay, let's try with three. Let's do three. I'm going to do three. 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 Right, I'm persisting, city. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not beaten. This is a thing that's easy. Anybody can do it. Okay, two. Two. Now, obviously, obviously, juggling is harder than I thought it was. So, I've decided to try dunking, right? I'm 5 foot 11, I'm motivated, I've never played basketball in any competitive sense, whatever, since 7th grade. But I can dunk, because I wish to dunk. So, here we go, we're going to dunk. Can't dribble. Got to do it again. Don't persist. Okay. Stop feeling. Our next concept is resilience. Resilience is extremely important. I could spend the rest of this day under this desk in shame because of my humiliating attempts to try to dunk. But hey, life's too short. You got to get some perspective. You could spend your time under a desk as a result of a bad test, difficult relationship thing, thing at work and you would never get anything done. So, get perspective. Realize that what it is that's a temporary setback is only temporary, that you can pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go back to it again. That's resilience. So, we've had this conversation. We've done persistence, we've done resilience. And I've been benched. Basically, I'm a failure at basketball, at hacky sack, or pardon me, at juggling hacky sacks. Now, quitting sense. Quitting sense is recognizing that there are better uses of your talents and abilities than pursuing things that you're not made for. Now, some people will use quitting sense as a way of running away from things. For example, college algebra, or family difficulties, or personal relationship difficulties. Some things just have to be gotten through. But when we're talking about lifetime, when we're talking about your life and your future, you need to find the thing that's ideal for you. You need to try very hard not to be somebody you aren't. Always be true to yourself. Be persistent. Be resilient in defeat. And recognize when you've got better uses of your time. And move on to something that fits well with your talents and fits well with your abilities.